Okay, mga students, dako naman tayo sa second part ng ating IPO model. And that is the process. Now, in the context of accounting, ito yung tinatawag natin na accounting process. Or more common, ano, accounting cycle. Now, the accounting cycle or the accounting process involves a series of steps or instructions. Kasi nga, procedural lang po yan. So, may mga hakbang tayo dyan na sinusunod na, no? At kada hakbang, may mga instructions. Ano ba ang ginagawa? Na kinakailangang sundan ng mga users or sundan ng mga accountants or accounting staff or kung sino man yung in charge doon or kung sino man yung involved para makapag-provide ano, later on ng accurate and useful output which is your financial statements. Now, for this accounting process, meron akong ni-remix ano, meron akong kinumbay na definition. Ang definition ng accounting according to the AAA or the American Accounting Association at yung definition ng accounting according to AICPA or the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. Ito yung diniscuss ko na sa inyo sa previous video lecture. Ito yung part na ito na hindi ko nalagyan ng label kung kaninong definition. And this is coming from the AICPA. Notice ano, na meron na kong in-underline sa definition ng American Accounting Association. That accounting is a process of identifying, measuring, and then communicating economic information. Pagdating naman sa definition ng accounting according to AICPA, ang sabi naman kasi doon, accounting is the art of recording, classifying, and summarizing, blah, blah, blah. At pagdating naman dito ano, sa bandang dulo, and interpreting the results thereof. Now, what I did is, I combined the definition para makapag-come up tayo ng infographics ano, at a better understanding of our accounting process. At ito rin yung makikita ninyo dito ano, sa aking IPO model, yung nasa gitna. It starts with identifying transactions, recording them, classifying them, summarizing them, and then interpreting. Okay? Eh ngayon, baka tanongin ninyo ako, eh, Sir, bakit po ninyo hinighlight yung measuring at saka yung communicating? Well, etong measuring, ano, it will form part of your recording phase kasi pag nagre-record tayo, we measure magkano ba ang i-record ire natin. So, kumbaga, pasok yan dito ano, sa recording part. No, Pinag-combine na lang natin sa at tinanggal na natin yung measuring. Eh, how about naman, sir, yung communicating? Saan naman yan mag-fall? Ah, dito naman natin yan ilalagay sa interpreting. Because, no, after we summarize, we communicate for proper interpretation ng mga users. So, hindi ko na hiniwalay ito, ano? Instead, pinagsama ko na lang po sila at interpreting na lang. Now, we will have this one. And this is your accounting process, ano? coming from the combined accounting definition of accounting from AAA and the AICPA. Okay, now, ano ito? Analyze, journalize, post, prepare TB, adjust, prepare FS, close, reverse, optional. Now, ito po yung ating mga accounting process using words no? or phrases para ma-define natin anong tinutukoy. The identifying part of the accounting cycle is simply your identifying a transaction, whether pasok ba yan as a financial information or hindi. Kasi kung hindi siya magka-qualify as a financial transaction, hindi po natin siya i -re record Hindi naman kasi lahat ng mga transactions or lahat ng mga business events ay magka-qualify sa identification pagdating sa accounting. May mga iba dyan na hindi. Let's say, Nagkasundo, no? nagpirmahan ng kontrata Within, between the supplier and the company. Ano? Well, of course, later on, magiging ano yan, meaningful. Pero on the signing of the contract, wala pa po tayong pinag-uusapan na pera dyan. Wala pang economic resources na, in, na involved. So, wala pa po tayong i-record. Ang pagpirma ng isang empleyado ng kontrata dahil siya ay tinanggap sa new employee, hindi rin po yan accountable transaction. So, it is critical, ano, crucial na dito pa lang sa identification phase, you know how to analyze. Kaya nga, ang corresponding niya dito sa baba ay the analyze no? or the 
analysis. Okay? Transaction analysis as we will go on later. Etong recording naman, oh, this is the part of your journalizing. We record journal entries. After we classify a transaction, as identif uh, we, after we identify a transaction as a financial transaction, we journalize it. Okay? I-explain naman natin ito into, de into details later on as we go along. Ang classifying naman, ito yung posting. Posting ano, to the ledger accounts. Ito yung ginugroup natin yung mga transactions na magkakaparehas. Pagdating sa summarizing, it involves four Okay, here we have the preparation of your trial balance. Ito naman is the adjusting entry. Ito naman is the preparation of the financial statements. At yung panghuli is the closing process. As you can see here, wala po tayong tinag ano, kung saan ito magpo-fall because there is a reversing entry, ano, reversing process, but that is an optional accounting step. Later on, pag-uusapan din po natin ito. Then after that, kasi ang, ba ang bandang... Dulo dito, yung output nga kasi natin, di ba, is the preparation of your financial statement. Then, after we prepare the financial statement, it becomes available now for the users. And it is the interpretation part that is on the side of the users. How do we interpret? Ano bang ibig nito sabihin ng mga figures na ito? Okay? So, yun po ano, ang ating process, accounting process. Huwag po kayong magalala, explain naman natin ito into details. This is simply an introductory, ano, introduction to your accounting process. Kasi later on, well, as we go along with the lessons, as we go along with the video lectures, hihimayin po natin ito step by step. Okay? But if you have any questions or advanced questions on the accounting process, you are free to ask me. You may comment down below. Okay? But until then, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.